<laughs> let, let me uh, let me get started again. Um, good morning, everybody. I hope you are doing great today. We are hosting a beautiful lady who is a pioneer in teaching Thank English so to much. Iraqi students and English learners. Uh, she graduated a few years ago, and uh, she's still young, but she's a very dedicated, intelligent, smart, and hardworking so sweet. person. I would like to ask you to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your um, journey with English language and how you came to be as an English teacher. Of course. Well, hi, everyone. First of all, it's an honor to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, let's start with my name. My name mm -hmm. is Mina. Lots of people pronounce it wrong, but that's fine. I'm 25. I graduated around four years ago. Um, I studied English language and literature, mm -hmm. which was one of my dreams. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and the second I graduated, I actually started working for schools, language institutes, and uh -huh. I'm here now. I'm working for my own now. So Perfect. yeah, it's, it's always been a dream come true to me to be a, a language coach. I, I watched your videos since I was a college student and I, you inspired me so much. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Thank you so of much. Course. Uh, what made you decide to be an English teacher, not an English translator or um, an English <sighs> poet or something like that? Well, this is, this is kind of sensitive, but uh, the truth has, someone has to say the truth. Yes. So um, the day I graduated, I worked for a, an international school mm -hmm. and I was just looking around the way they teach kids. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. At all. Uh -huh. They're doing it for the money. So I had to quit and I kept working for like, when I say I worked in almost all the institutes, I'm not mm -hmm. wrong here. So I tried most of them and I saw the same method. Mm -hmm. They're not using a good teaching method. They're just using a method to get more money and the teachers have to go with the same method. And I did not like that at all. Okay. So when I do something to, to a person, I have to do it perfectly. Like I have to do it with the way they like. And I wasn't mm -hmm. able to do that. So, uh, yeah, I just kept watching those was that, people go and come Was back. that your true yeah. inspiration to be an English teacher? To reshape and change the perception of people I've regarding teaching? I always loved teaching. teaching. Mm -hmm. I loved teaching. I loved helping people. But mm -hmm. which, what made me the way I am today is these bad experiences. Because mm -hmm. I needed to help people just because I want to help them. Well, we always say... Um, they always say that the success of a yeah. person is the sum of all of his failures in life. So probably exactly. that yeah. is and where your strength is. I am. And that is where your um, vantage point is that your success yeah. is not coming from living a uh, dreamy life, but going through so many hurdles, impediments and challenges exactly, yeah. and obstacles in your life. Um, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your journey with um, the channel. You started teaching English and providing. The channel. English. Well, that's kind of a funny story. <laughs> so I would love I, to hear that. It, well, of course, yeah. So Corona happened. Most of us uh -huh. lost their jobs. I didn't lose my job, but they used me a lot mm -hmm. to the point where I was like, you know what? That's it. I'd rather be unemployed than do that. Mm -hmm. So I quit my job, and that was one of the worst days of my life. I just hate being unemployed. Mm -hmm. And it hit, it hit me right there. I had this Instagram account made for my students only. So it was mm -hmm. kind of private. And I said, hey, why not just make videos, help people? You like doing that? So I did. Mm -hmm. And the account kept growing until uh, Mr. Ivan contacted me. And the same time he contacted me, I was about to have a partnership with another. Who's, who is Mr. Ivan? My producer. Okay. Is the one who owns the, the whole network. Mm -hmm. So I had to choose. I was I was between the devil and a, and a rock. I had to choose something. I had to choose something for my future. And I was like, you know what? I'll just leave the partnership. This sounds something great to help more mm -hmm. people. I'll just do whatever I can to to help them with the with the with a good method, with a new method. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so I chose to go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, how did you find the first few lessons that you introduced there? Well, did you find oh, them well. challenging? Difficult, well, you know, standing in front of a camera and lights from here and there. <laughs> so I was kind of, kind of popular in, back in college. I had yeah. uh, a few TV meetings. I was an artist. Mm -hmm. So 
the the camera thing wasn't that scary to me Perfect. but i mm -hmm. remember the first day i went to the company i just sat there and i was like oh my god what the hell am i doing with my life why did i choose that <laughs> 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 and my eyes started tearing and I had two minutes before starting. Okay. So I was like, I'm sorry, I have something in my eye and I had to excuse everyone and like just go out and freak out. Perfect. And then they were, they were like, <laughs> you're ready to film. And then out of nowhere, a whole new character came out and yeah. I made the first video. Okay, great. Great. I think yeah. you did really terrific job in uh, introducing. Thank you so much. And introducing a different trajectory of teaching that is mixed, combined with humor and uh, laughter. I think that's what, um, what makes people really feel engaged and... Um, it makes them feel more comfortable like that. Comfortable, actually, relaxed. Yeah. And, you're introducing yeah. something in a very, um, in a, in a very uh, positive way. And that is where education should take uh, the stand here. Exactly, yeah. So tell me about your daily routine with, with English, like how you started Ooh. working on your language to become an English teacher. Because working yeah. on your language to, to be an English speaker is completely different from working on your language exactly. to be an English teacher. Yeah. You need to equip yourself with different techniques, protocols, strategies to become who you are and to go to where you want to be in, in language. So exactly, yeah. what, kind of, what kind of activities, what kind of things that have shaped and reshaped your English uh, to be yeah. um, an English teacher? Well, it goes way back to my childhood, actually. Uh -huh. Back in like... Tell me about that part particularly. Oh, that part particularly, <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. So I had a very tough childhood. Um, but the good thing about this childhood, um, my dad, mm -hmm. I have two more sisters. So my dad would take me and my little sister every day and he would give us this tiny booklet and mm -hmm. every day, every morning, he would write a phrase or a sentence and he's like, read it, learn it, go to the soldiers, talk to them. Cause they used to come a lot to our house. I don't know why, maybe it's okay. because we used to live near the airport or something. Mm -hmm. So every morning, here's a sentence. We just, me and my sister, especially mm -hmm. me and my little sister, we just started speaking in English almost everywhere. Okay. My mom would play music, my sister. So that's how it formed. Me. So I, I, I can gather from what you said that uh, being in direct exposure to native speakers or non-native speakers, trying to have that kind of Both stamina, words, honestly. trying to have, to, to have that stamina, learn something, try to use it is in and a just nutshell. break the ice. Uh -huh. Breaking yeah, the ice. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but that made me an English speaker. Mm -hmm. When it came to being an English coach, I... I suddenly realized that I have this big responsibility. I can't mm -hmm. be wrong. I have to teach mm -hmm. people only the right things. Mm -hmm. So since that moment, like before, I didn't care about learning more vocabulary, more new mm -hmm. information. But now all I do is like research, 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 try to make them feel better, try to make them even better. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, yeah. Okay. What, what is your resolution to the new year? Are you planning to further your study and get a master or PhD? Um, in one of the well, universities? I really or... hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really hope so, but- In what, in what major? This is gonna be the year. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> you see, I applied for master degrees, a uh, master degree two years ago, and I fell in love with neurolinguistics. linguistics. Uh -huh. It was something that, that combined language and medical fields mm -hmm. together. And, but someone told me that we don't have any studies about it in Iraq, so that made me feel terrible. Mm -hmm. But for this year, I decided not to decide anything and just let it go. And I want to see what happens instead. Well, Because things happened without any plans this year, so I want to keep going with that. Uh, I think studying master or PhD in Iraq is like installing an open source application in your uh, computer. What happens yeah. is that you're left with choosing the kind of track or the kind of road that you need to investigate and to go through. Yeah. So you can, you can take a master degree in linguistics, which is pure linguistics. And then which in your I, research, which I kinda hate. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if you don't like it, you can mm. render it in a way that is, you know, 
going in alignment with what you need to work and focus on and yeah exactly. what happens you you are bombarded the first and second semester with materials that might not be preferable to you but once that is shuffled off and mm -hmm. uh, you're ready to present your thesis to the committee to decide whether they agree on that thesis or not you can convince yeah. them one by one that mm -hmm. you're interested in neurolinguistics because there is some sort yeah. of research that you can conduct and this yeah. research is publishable and I can add your names to the research to work collaboratively on that. Yeah. They would <laughs> love that. So um, uh, what yeah. happens, they will totally agree and I, I confirm that, I assure you, they will agree mm. on that. And then you start working on your research That's in right. neurolinguistics. This is how it works. It's an open source. Yeah. There is no clear track to what and how and where you should do it, but you can change it yeah. in the way you look. I'm, I'm doing my PhD right now. And well, my, PhD, um, um, my PhD is in politics. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, well, it's not politics purely. It's the analysis of political speeches linguistically. Not, and wow. uh, I, I love this major because it's just coming back to uh, where I started reading and working. I love politics. I've, I've worked oh, in so great. many uh, fields that are relevant to politics. So I feel that this yeah. is something that I can do differently from the field of you know applied linguistics however everybody yeah. has his own mindset and his own preferences so i really yeah. think that you can explore master degree try once twice three times it's okay i yeah. applied to phd and i they rejected me the first year yeah they i got rejected me two years ago. Uh, yeah they accepted me the second year so it's okay everybody gets well, rejected nice. at some point in their lives but that does not of mean course, that yeah. you you withdraw your, you know, your army, you need to uh, keep trying, maybe here, but I wish you get a Fulbright uh, scholarship where you can explore um, other countries and see different methods. That's going to open new horizons to you. Yeah, I was, I was actually planning to apply this year, but I didn't have the chance. Yeah, uh, yeah. you need to work on your writing a little bit, um, but that's, I don't think it's a big challenge to you. Mina, I really wish you all of your dreams come true and thank you so much achieve thank all you. the resolutions that you have this thank coming you so year much. Thank you. See you. and uh see you holding a master degree in teaching english if that is Hopefully. within your field of your interest <laughs> and thank you so much for accepting this invitation i will thank link you for having me it was an honor you're more than welcome and i will link your youtube channel to this video uh, once it gets great. uploaded inshallah and I'll tell people about your channel and your work so people become aware of your channel and the kind of great work Thank that you're so doing. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Do you have any last words to say before we end this meeting? Uh, you've already done enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're more than welcome. And uh, whenever you prefer, we can do another round of meetings where you can talk about anything that of course. Up, of course, whenever you like. Mind. Thank you so much and of enjoy course. your You're lovely welcome. morning and happy you new too. year. Bye bye. Bye. Happy new year.